Today on Animal Fact Files, we're talking about thresher sharks. These sharks are easy to identify because they have long tail fins. The upper lobe of a thresher shark's caudal fin, or tail fin, may be as long as the shark's entire body. There are three thresher shark species, and they range in size from the smallest, the pelagic thresher, which reaches 12 feet in length, to the big eye thresher, which reaches 15 feet in length, to the largest and most well-known species, the common thresher, which can reach 18.8 feet in length and possibly longer. Now, all these sizes are including that long caudal fin. Thresher sharks are considered not dangerous to humans, though, of course, they should always be respected, just like any other wild animal. Observations from divers indicate that these sharks are shy and will flee from bubbles created by scuba gear. Thresher sharks are found throughout tropical and temperate waters around the world, though the different species have different preferences on where they live. The pelagic thresher shark is absent from the Atlantic Ocean and, as suggested by its common name, is typically found in the open ocean. Pelagic thresher sharks live from the surface to 492 feet below the waves. They may be seen on beaches with a narrow continental shelf, and they're occasionally seen on reefs near drop-offs and seamounts. Common thresher sharks tend to stay towards the surface of the water, and they're often seen near land, usually no more than 75 miles from the coast. They're most abundant in coastal waters, and their young are raised in shallow bays. Common thresher sharks may dive as deep as 1,200 feet, but that's not as deep as the deepest living thresher shark species. Big eye thresher sharks spend a lot of their time towards the bottom of the water column. During the day, they may be swimming at 1,640 feet below the waves. Each night, they migrate vertically. These are called dieel migrations, and we've talked about them in previous episodes. Big eye sharks spend a lot of time in a part of the ocean where oxygen is minimal. This is likely why they've developed gills with more surface area than most, if not all, other living shark species. Big eye thresher sharks have grooves along their heads, not present in common or pelagic thresher sharks. These grooves are here because a big eye thresher shark's gill chambers are extended, and long gill filaments are housed under these unique grooves. Pelagic thresher sharks can be told apart from common thresher sharks by checking out their color patterns. Common thresher sharks have white above their pectoral fins, where pelagic thresher sharks do not. Thresher sharks may also be known as fox sharks, and their hunting skills match their terrestrial namesake. Thresher sharks use their long caudal fins to slap and stun their prey. They may even gather fish together for a more effective smack. Thresher sharks are typically solitary, but they may travel in small groups of two or three, and even hunt together using this slap and stun method. They may also completely jump out of the water to catch prey like marine birds. Depending on the species and the sex of the shark, it may take three to more than ten years before a thresher shark begins reproducing. Considering these sharks only live approximately 20 to 30 years, that's not a lot of time to produce offspring. And to top it off, individual thresher sharks only give birth to a handful of pups each year, so their reproduction rates are quite low. It's this reason these sharks are listed as either vulnerable or endangered to extinction. Sport fishing and hunting by humans are harmful to thresher shark populations. Natural predators to thresher sharks include other sharks, but their babies are born quite large to help prevent this. Thresher sharks range from 3.3 to 5.2 feet in length at birth. They're born live. Unlike some other shark species, thresher shark females provide unfertilized eggs for their developing young to eat while in the uterus. 